Someone made an archive for Dream Booth models, which is really good. You can check it out here. And the main good thing about it is that there's a big image showing some of the outputs of each model on top of the model. So that's kind of sick. It's a huge step up from the hugging face thing. And I can't believe that I'm going to say something you know, bad about hugging face, but the hugging face space here, firstly, you have to click into each model to see what the images are and sort of more importantly, let's just choose one at random here. This is a really good example, disco diffusion style. So you look at these images, you're like, those are really cool. I want to use this. And then you read that actually these are the images used to train the model and images outputted by the model are not given at all. So you have to download them before you see what's going on, which is really annoying. So someone has a better solution. Get to see all the outputs here. Not only that, they also have a rating system. So you can see which models people like and you know that you're not wasting time up here. So this is all really sick. And what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these models. We'll just go through the process of downloading one at random. And yeah. So, okay. Comics diffusion. That looks kind of cool. You click on it. And this is important here because these are all the, these are the instance tokens or they're called train words here. And this is what you need to include at the start of your prompt when you're generating in order to get the effect that you want. So, okay, cool. Um, here it is. You just click this download button, downloads the model and off you go. Now, just a few things before we go forward. Firstly, this is, as far as I can tell, just someone's passion project. So don't expect anyone to have scanned these for viruses or anything. So maybe just be a little careful. Um, if you're downloading things from way down the bottom of the list that no one else has really tried out before, you know, maybe, maybe just be a bit careful. And some of these things are not made with dream booth. So for instance, over here, we have an example of a textual inversion um, concept, which you can't use in the normal way. So just, again, keep that in mind and then don't be surprised. Okay, and while waiting for that to happen, um, let me just show you some of my favorites. I've checked out a bunch of these. I think I've checked about, you know, 10 different models that I thought were cool. These are the ones that I really liked. Modern Disney, Redshift, RK Art, and Ghibli were all just really cool, I thought. They all give you these very nice Joe Bidens. Mid Journey V4 was kind of good. The only thing is when you zoom in on this, it actually looks really screwed up. And a lot, a lot of the images had that quality. So I'm kind of so-so about the Mid Journey V4 one. Um, although from a distance, it looks it looks very cool. Uh, and this, this the attitude here is great. And the, you know, obviously Ghibli, uh, it looks very Ghibli. So anyway, all of these are really cool. Um, would recommend trying out all of them. Just search this phrase up here. Let's try to find the modern Disney one. Uh, we'll go back to this page, modern Disney, and great. You know, the search functionality works really well. So this is really useful. This kind of reminds me of Lexard, which was this great website that gave you the ability to search through people's prompts. Um, and then it, you know, made it really easy to find different prompts and use different prompts here. So it kind of reminds me of that. Seems like a really good program. I'm finding it really helpful. Another highly rated model here is this ink punk diffusion, which if you look at it, it looks really cool, but I tried messing around with it a little bit. What you'll notice is that a lot of these images look really cool, but they also look really similar to each other. So this is Joe Biden, supposedly. Um, and these two images look very, very similar. So what's probably happened is during the dream booth training, there's been a bit of overfitting to one particular training subject. Um, the pose is the same, the smile is the same. And the other thing is that none of these actually look like Joe Biden. Um, you've also got, you know, very similar face. This was just a very angry man, completely different seed, but you get this very similar kind of character here, 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 the expression is very similar. And yeah, again, these two versions of Biden also look almost identical. Yeah, so uh, watch out for the ink punk one. But a lot of these other ones are really cool. Like. Uh, this one especially, the RK art one, because um, this is Joe Biden, and I like this because it kind of looks like Joe Biden, but he's in a very different pose. Like, usually if you try to generate Joe Biden, you'll get a guy up on a lectern. But this guy looks a bit like Joe Biden, and he's also stepping off a bus or something. Um, see, like, this looks like Joe Biden 
at a little vendor stand. This looks like Joe Biden sitting in a chair and usually in stable diffusion, it's very hard to get Joe Biden, you know, doing anything other than shaking hands with himself or something like that. Okay, it's finished. Great. Looks like the website does in fact exist and does host models. Cut. Go to web UI, models, stable diffusion, and paste it in there. Uh, open up stable diffusion, press this lovely refresh button they've given us, and comic diffusion. Okay, nice. That's loading. So while it's loading, we'll go and grab a style. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't read comics. In fact, I kind of hate comics, but that's fine. We'll just try this person because they, they have an A in their name. Yeah, comic diffusion, all selected. President Joe Biden, let's go. Let's go, let's generate. And this is not Joe Biden, unfortunately. So the first thing, because sometimes with some of these dream booth models, you don't get the things you want instantly. So instead, I'm just gonna start adding a whole bunch of emphasis here. And we're gonna go ahead, try again. Just add heaps of emphasis. And if anything, this looks less like Joe Biden than the last one which didn't even look like Joe Biden at all. Um, we're not doing well, honestly. This is not going well. So instead, we'll try chucking the token at the end. And maybe, maybe that'll give us the Joe Biden we want. Okay, so look, it looks like maybe there's a Joe Biden here. We're doing pretty badly for the Joe Biden. So let's try again with a different art style here. Charlie Bow, kind of, Name seems a little bit familiar, so maybe like that's more well known. Um, and in fact, before we even do that, let's just confirm that this model can generate any kind of Joe Biden stuff, with, even without tokens. Okay, so it does know kind of what Joe Biden is, but it looks a little bit screwed up because obviously this model here has been trained on a lot of different concepts and that's probably caused some sort of interference with its understanding of language. So let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, there we go. So for some reason, the Charlie Bow uh, prompt gives you something closer to the truth. Uh, and that's, that's, actually <laughs> that's actually pretty sweet. That he's standing there with the American flag and a sword. That's actually kind of sick. That is sort of the Joe Biden we want to see. If only the face wasn't completely screwed up. Let's try that again with Restore Faces. I know that, that usually stuffs the art style up, but you know, let's give it a go. Okay, absolutely not. Disgusting. Um, now let's just make six, let's make seven, and maybe one of them will be good. I mean, a lot of these images are kind of cool, and if you view them for like, from like a million miles away, you know, if you view them in, in the small aspect, a lot of them look pretty cool, but, um, as soon as you get close, they look like nothing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is another, this is another not so good one here. So. In conclusion, these, these six seem to be sick if you want to generate Joe Biden, which basically that's all anyone really does with Stable Diffusion anyway. If you have any questions about this, or if you have like some models that you think are sick, um, please go ahead and recommend them. Oh, and also get in the Discord because one of the members keeps on training these really good models. The ones that he trains seem pretty much like he keeps on posting the art share and the results he, he's getting seem better than all of these models. And I asked him, you know, how do we get your models? And he's like, no, I'm too shy. I'm too shy. They have my face in them, um, which is kind of fair enough. But get in the Discord and bully him into making them open source, okay? That's, that that's what I would, please.